All right, guys, now we're gonna turn the car on for you and let you hear how it sounds. Fidan, can you turn the car on for us? Hi guys, hope you're got, cause I'm got, and hope you're got, and we can all be got together. Welcome back to Abraham's Garage, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a very special car that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys. It's the Mercedes-Benz Maybach S680. This particular car right here is actually a very special one, one of 150 in the world. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, give me that thumbs up. A special thanks to Faraz Auto and Fidan for allowing me to come and film this car. This car is actually a available for sale and if you're looking to purchase it you can actually go down in the description below I will have the links and information available all right guys let's start with the exterior of this car this particular Maybach is a very special one as mentioned before this is one of 150 in the world and uh, one of three in Canada currently um, as you can see starting with the front obviously you have the Maybach logo coming down you have uh, your Maybach name on the hood and you have your drive assistance look at it right here you can see this part is filled in with the camera on the bottom so you can see this car has a driver's assistance pack one thing i like to point out with this particular car is the coloring combo of this which makes it super super unique and rare obviously you have the maybach grill going on to the side you can see it's the two-tone on top you have black and on the bottom you have this nice beige color with your rims also matching as well these are super cool rims I haven't seen these on this type of Maybach before. So I could tell you that this particular one has some nice options. All right, guys, let's walk around the car, look at it from different sides. One thing I like to point out all throughout the car is you have the two-tone lining located right there. So as you walk around to the front and to the back of the car, you can see that it has this line going through it. You have the V12 badge located right there, this car being the V12. And you have the Maybach logos located on the panels on the side. And this is the view of this side of the car. All right, guys, well, this is the look at the back of the car. Very similar to the S-Class, very similar to the Maybach, but it's very different at the same time. Obviously, the 680 being a V12. Second thing, you have the Maybach badge located right there instead of the Mercedes. And one thing I want to keep mentioning over and over again is the color of this car. Very, very unique. Hi, everyone. I'm Fidan, and I have the keys to the limited edition one of 150 Virgil Abloh Maybach right here. Let's take a look. All right, guys, let's get inside of the car and check out the features that this car has to offer. Starting with the front of the car, one thing I like to mention is this interior lighting, which you can see because it's a little bit dark out here. So it's running all throughout the dash, which makes it look super nice. Plus you have these nice lights in your stereo systems which again makes the car look very unique one thing that i love about this car is the color of the exterior and the interior match making it again very unique and this interior is very nice it's one of those interiors that it's very hard to find and uh, the quality definitely does stand out all right guys let's go put it on auxiliary mode and see what the car has to offer so just have the key you can press it obviously it's uh, smart key access once you do turn the car on you have this nice digital screen popping up plus you have a very nice head up display starting with the left side we have a couple different knobs where you can actually use to control everything in your screen so I'm just gonna start with the left side obviously over here is your back button this is to navigate left and right you have your home button if you're to press you can actually have different type of gauges pull up to this car so you have this sport gauge right now you can go to the Maybach gauge and then you can click it in don't like this one you can go over and one thing i like to point out like the other mercedes products these are half touch and hard so you can either press it in or just swipe over it to get it to work now i'm just going to show you a little bit of different type of screens that are possible with this infotainment you can have assistance 
it's very good at it offers you multiple different things coming down what you have over here is basically everything to do with your automatic cruise control um your distance keeping and your lane keeping obviously this car being a full automatic cruise control system you can use this to um, control the car so everything look at it right here coming over what you have is you have different things to control your stereo system so you have your voice command your favorites again if you're to press home back left and right and then you have your volume control located right here and to answer your phones located right there one thing i like to tell you is that this car has a very nice two-tone steering wheel you have piano black on the outside and you have this type of nice gray leather on the inside making it look very nice coming onto the door what we have over here is everything to do with your headlight controls so you have automatic low high and fog lights then you have on your door you have your heated cooled seats then you have your memory seats right there coming down you have your shade controls you have your window controls everything's fully automatic and then you have your mirror controls, which are not hard buttons but you actually would have to press them for them to work coming down you have your central lock system on the door and you have this button over here which allows you to adjust your seat in multiple different ways on the steering wheel you have two different type of knobs on the left you have everything to do with your high beam and your uh, signal control on the right you have your gear selector you can toggle it up and down for the gearing to work and also this car does come with paddle shifters so if you're ever in that mood where you want to just rip it around and be sporty you can just put it in the paddle shifters coming down to the middle we have this very nice infotainment screen as you can see it's fully digital and it's very big very clear i'm just going to go through it in a little bit show you what it has to offer starting with the infotainment screen obviously we have your navigation look at it right here and once you press that everything comes back to full screen now you have this button located right in the middle which is like a Maybach button you can press this Maybach button and then it brings you back to the same screen so you have phone you have radio you have media you have apps you have store going over you have comfort you have info you have settings and you have smartphone integration now if i click on the settings now you can see these are a bunch of settings that you can change with the vehicle basically you have driving collision and avoidance assistance camera parking you can go to vehicle you have comfort and protection open closed door dynamic select you have light and you have system you have info and then going back again to the Maybach button. And one more thing that I really like about the screen is that the screen actually gives you feedback. What I mean by that is basically once you press it, if you do press it hard, you do get a feedback. For those people who don't only like touch screen and are into hard buttons. Now, what we one thing we can see from your main screen, you have the climate control located right here, obviously quad zone so two in the front two in the back and then you can just go up and down it would change the other side as well and then fan speed you can just use this to up and down you have here it would go back to what it was and then you have over here this button would be for your front defrost and you have the automatic button look at it right there you have this to keep the air within the car you can press this button the climate control and you have this whole screen come up now you know this way you can control where you want what air to come out from as you can see that gives you a lot of customizability so you have first row of seats then you can press executive seat so you can control the ones in the back and then you can press air quality so air quality basically would just show you things like energizing air control and if the air inside is good or if it needs to be ionized if there's a fragrance that this car offers so you can just press the fragrance button and then you know this way your car would actually smell really nice inside moving over we have the rear defrost located right there and we have the auto button so automatic climate control located right there overall this navigation system is very easy to use you can just press where to let's say and like type everything up very uh, consumer friendly press the may back and it shows you previous dynamics gas stations parking alternative routes coming down i want to show you a little bit of the hard touch button so basically over here's your dynamic selector so if you press it the first option it shows you is may back so this is i would assume this is like the super most comfortable setting that you can put the car in and then you can put um, comfort you can put sport 
and then individual you can actually change it up so even though this is a full-on luxury car it's a very good option to have because on those days that you actually want to speed up a little bit or you want faster acceleration then this gives you all of that which is very nice moving over you have this button which is the camera button so it shows you different type of cameras like the front view rear view side view cameras you can actually move it around to see what's around you very good quality and very realistic i can really see um the cars in the back and even in the module that i move around to do the 360 you actually have a Maybach looking light right there. Coming down, we have this car button. So if you're to press the car button, you can see different things pull up like your 3D cockpit. So you can actually make the cockpit look 3D. All right, so a couple of things to point out over here. Obviously you have your heads up display, then you have your 3D driver display, then you have your car wash mode and you have your snow chains mode, which we don't really use snow chains. If you have this car, you're probably not gonna use it in the winter. You have raised levels. Obviously this car comes with air suspension, manual shifting and parktronic. One thing I like to talk about is a 3D driver display. So the display that's actually located in front of is looking very realistic and it's actually 3d so it's not just standard if i were to press that the 3d mode would go off and it would just be a normal standard which you'd see on many cars located in the market but if you press it it actually gives you a 3d visualization of it which is very cool and very unique i just want to show you the 3d in different maps so if we're to click on the navigation one the 3d one is actually right in your face it might be hard to see in the camera but looking at it in person is definitely very different if i were to turn that off it becomes like a normal google maps display that you would see on your phone all right guys then we have the hazard button and then we have this one which basically you can use your finger to unlock the infotainment system then you have this button that you can turn it on and off it gives you options to display off or system off and then this one would basically control your stereo volume control down here you have the one of 150 badge in the car telling you how unique it is and if you're to just open this we do have your uh with your wireless charger coming down center console now momentarily i'm gonna get to the back of the car but i want to show you a little bit of the view basically this car allows you to fully extend the back seat for a very comfortable and smooth ride in a second i'm gonna get in the back and show you more details but this is how it looks from the front guys here's a look of the back seat of the car fully extended right now let's get into the back of the car and show you what it has to offer <clears throat> So sitting in the back, you have the Maybach logos located right there. Plus you have your TVs. And this is a look of the inside of the car from the back seat. Coming down, you have your rear climate control and basically you can control where you want the air to come out from, volumes up and down, and plus other things like speed, and hot and hot and cold you want it to be coming onto the door you have different things to move around like your shades for the side and for the back plus to readjust your seat and for heating and cooling also to move your seat to this position and to get a massage obviously this car would have back massage seats as well pressing that actually turns your back shade up and down This one is for your shade on this side. You have the shade on that side as well. Coming in the middle, we have a little touch iPad where you can control different things. So you can actually select by rear, left or right. Then you can do without user profile or if you have a profile, you can actually set it up. And this way the car would go back to that setting that you had before. Coming down, we have the off button. And again, different things like your Maybach button. So if you were to click the Maybach button, it says, welcome to your profile obviously this controls everything to do with your full massage seat and as you can see this car is absolutely amazing to sit in the back one thing i like to say is that this car is so good to sit in the back you might not even want to drive it even though you're a car enthusiast like myself i'm so relaxed sitting in the back and one thing i like to say as i mentioned multiple times throughout the vehicle the color is very calming so I'm very comfortable sitting in the back and I feel good. You have these pillows located right here. Plus you have your own refrigerator. So if you're to open that, 
do have a champagne bottle because you're always going to be celebrating when you're sitting in this car. One more thing I like to talk about is that this car has this button where basically you can heat and cool your cup holder. So if you're right now, you can see you can cool it. And then there you go, that's the heat. Turn it off. There you go, you can press that to have it close and you press it one more time, it would be open. Just giving you a better look of interior if you don't want to have those options be shown. And one more thing is if you're to press, you can have your TV on right in front of you. So now I have the TV on and I can use it to display different things basically on there. Now with my TV, basically everything that I click on the bottom, I can have it displayed in front of me so I can just move it around with my hand and look in front of me because I don't like looking down. Everything that's with the iPad that's located on the left side is located over there. So this is with this TV and if I have to press the button for the other TV, I would have the other TV turn on and you have the automatic door opening option on this car as well. So in the infotainment, you just press it and the car will automatically open the door. So you can just get in without having to open it yourself. And there's an option for closing it as well. Very nice. All right, guys. Well, that's the review of this very special Maybach. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and comment down below what car you like to see next. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good one.